Priyanka, it's always so delightful to see you it's and you're so back again looking you. epic as usual. <laughs> I watched the screener. What did you think? It is so fun. And yeah. like you've got the whole sultry, sexy, the whole vibe, always playing a badass. <laughs> but I love that there's like a little Saat Khun Maaf vibe to your character because I still don't know enough about her in the first mm. two episodes I've seen. But tell me a little bit about why you chose this role. Well, I love the ambition of the show. Honestly, the mm -hmm. conversation around this show started five years ago. And the conversation started with Jennifer Salki, who's the head of Amazon Studios. And I was working in America. This is post-Quantico, you know, yeah. I was doing movies. And um, I met her for, she had just become the head of the studio. And I'd met her for like, you know, other work. And I, yeah. was, I was saying that, you know, what are you guys doing? I would love to work on something. Um, I was taking meetings and stuff that time. And she presented this show to me and said, I have this thing which I think you would be perfect for yeah. because it's extremely global and you're very international. And this is like five years ago. Yeah. So this is not even where I was right now. Right. And she had the foresight for yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and then she introduced me to the Russos who yeah. pitched the story to me and it was amazing. Um, and I was just like, wait a minute, you're telling me that I am toe to toe yeah. with the hero, technically. I love that. Five years ago. I absolutely. <laughs> also, what I love is like we. I think that you need to have your own like you know Priyanka Chopra universe. Like you just need a superhero <laughs> character, like a Marvel character now, because you've done, you know, you've done Interpol agent, you've done spy. So you know, so I love that you 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 know play these characters, and you've done so much film, and you've done so much television. What is the big difference, and do you have a preference now that you've film done and both? TV? Mm -hmm. Um, or like well, OTT television, now. I did only, uh, television I've only done once, which was Quantico. Mm -hmm. um, this is a mini-series and I like a mini-series. I like like a four to six episode arc. I mean, I'm a features girl all yeah. the way. I love movies. I yeah. I'll always do movies. Yeah. I've done 70 something movies. Yeah. Um, you know, so I'm, I am, my, my background is movies, mm -hmm. but I love a four to six episode long form format because mm -hmm. You have the ability to delve into your character. You have the ability to have the audience invest in your character where they want to know more and they want to know more about you. Yeah. So as an actor, it's a lot more, um, it's, 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 a, a, it's a little bit more fun because you have more time. Yeah. Whereas in a movie, in like two hours, you have to go from the whole thing. You know, the yeah, whole thing. 100. I also really love that, I, I, like I was saying, I love that your character has is already developing some interesting sort of quirks, like she has some secrets. I love the whole styling, the whole vibe of it. So I just, you know, I, I wanted to also understand, like you look like you get thrown around a lot. Like, have did you, you seen have... the other guy? Oh my God, <laughs> no, that's true. But did you do all of the physical work yourself? Not all of it. I but, mean, yeah, it um, but like about 80% of it I did myself. Yeah. Um, we had an incredible stunt team and of course the Russos have done the Avengers. and the, So their stunt teams come from there, you yeah. know? So I had incredible expertise. Um, the stunt coordinators were <clears throat> amazing. We had a whole, um, inside of the studio, we had a whole stunt section, yeah. which was a giant studio in itself with anything that we could need to be able to train, knives, guns, we had weapons training, we had, um, it was physically very taxing to I be able imagine. to do that. I had an amazing stunt double, Nisha, yeah. she's awesome and she made me look really good, but um, I, because I come from a background of action, I trust my body a yeah. lot. So I've done a lot of it myself. Um, a it lot looks of it, like it because we can see you like can your see my face. face through a lot of it. That's why I wanted to do a lot of it mm. myself because I think it makes such a big difference, difference. when you see the actors instead of your hair, like co instead co of your covering hair. it. So, do you have a most memorable like a scene or moment so far? Obviously, without giving away anything that that really stands out in your memory from the show. The top of episode two, you remember that fight? Yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, I was thrown around. A lot. Because I'm also like in a in a state where I'm just recovering. Recovering, yeah. So that was a brutal one because mm -hmm. I was wearing shorts and I was wearing a t-shirt. So I couldn't have any pads. No elbow oh. pads, no knee pads, no hand pads or anything. So you must have gotten pretty bruised up I, by I the end of it. I got banged up on that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, if you had to describe Citadel in two words, what would you say? Um, propulsive and um, um, intriguing. I love that. And I believe that you have, of course, you've been in the industry for two decades, but this is where you achieved equal pay. I heard you talk about that. So I'd love to know, how did you make that happen? And what is your advice to other women in the industry to stand their ground or to make sure they get equal pay? 
Well, I stood my ground many times. I, yeah. ne I mean, I never asked for equal pay to a Hindi movie actor because yeah. they get like 40 crores and yeah. we get like two or three maybe, even yeah. if you have the same role. Right. Or like five, six, now I'm sure the girls are getting a lot more <laughs> yeah, than I got yeah. that time. <laughs> but, but it has never been equal. I mean, mm. I haven't, I would love to hear a female actor from Bollywood say that I got parity with my male co-actor because yeah. I never achieved that here. Mm. Um, and I never achieved that there either. Mm. What happened, it's really interesting. I'd given up on it, honestly, right. um, because I just didn't expect it. I've, it's, it. I've asked for even like quarter of a remuneration, you know, and only when I'm playing a co-lead. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not, you know, yeah, of uh, course. Yeah. I'm not like unrealistic where I'm like, oh, I want to get paid the same as a guy, even if I have a smaller role. No, yeah. if I'm a co-lead, um, in a show or a film like this. And you deserve it. You yeah. deserve it because yeah. you're putting in the same amount of work. But I've asked for it previously. It's never happened. Um, I've never even asked for equal. I've just asked for a little bit more. more yeah. You know, or maybe even the same perks, like the same kind of trailer, the same yeah. kind of, you know, flights and the same kind of yeah. perks that the men get. Same just rider, yeah. Give me the same rider. Give yeah. me like the, you know, they carry a trainer and a masseuse and all. We give you a trainer and all. So those kind of fights were the things that I used to fight for earlier. Yeah. And then I was just like, it's not going to happen in my lifetime. I've had many of my colleagues who've had conversation around parity. I know Kangana has, I know Deepika yeah. has, I know so many of the girls have had those conversations. Um, so when I have to give credit to my, you know, my agents who said to me that this is UTA and they said to me like, you know, you are a co-lead on the show. Let us go back to Amazon. And I'd already said, yes, I'm doing the show. Doing I didn't it, yeah. ask what. Richard's package was I didn't say anything because it didn't strike me. Yeah. But my agents told me, let us go back and just ask them. Let us go fight for you. Yeah. And I was like, okay. You want to fight for me? You're not gonna. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> it doesn't happen to girls. And they were like, let's just go have the conversation. Now yeah. I don't know if because Jennifer Salki is a female and she's the head of Amazon Studios, right. that there was no fight. Mm. In fact, they turned around and they said, of course. That makes sense. She's a co-lead. She should have the same per package and the same remuneration as her co-lead. And I, I was actually really shook when yeah. I got that phone call. I remember sitting down and my husband was so excited yeah. and he was like, first time and he popped champagne and it, he was telling my mom and, and I was just, it just reminded me of the 20 years of my life and all of those conversations. And it kind of, I needed to sit down for a second just to think about the gravity of it for me and then think about the gravity of it for mm. other female Everyone actors. Else, of course. Yeah. yeah. That's incredible. That's crazy. And thanks for sharing that story. Of course. I'm out of time, but I wanted oh, to show sure, you. I, I brought your time. I brought a copy of the book that you wrote oh, the forward for babe. for you. Can I take oh, a picture with yes. you? Of course. I think it's, you know, you really made such an impact on me and especially because you've been at the forefront of course your career and always been a champion of women. So thank you for doing that for Thank all you all so much. Time. I really appreciate it.